Hello there and welcome to class. I'm Professor Strong and the purpose of this video is just to say hello and to make sure that you get started properly in this class. So that having been said, the fact that you're actually watching this video means that you have already enrolled successfully in more. And MORE is the learning platform that we will be using for everything in this class. We will not be using Canvas. So please don't try to send me a message through Canvas because I will never see it. Send me a message through MORE or through an email. All right, so that having been said, let's take a quick look at the MORE classroom. So this is the home page of the Moore Classroom. Now, don't be um, uh, don't be concerned if this is not your class, MAT 230. If you are in MAT 213, the classes are set up exactly the same. So right up at the top here is the Zoom link. This is the link that you will be using in order to attend class because this is a live online classroom. We will be meeting twice a week at scheduled times. And uh, this is the link that you will be using to attend class. Below that is the getting started um, message. And so all you have to do is left click on it and it'll say welcome to MAT, whichever class that you're in. And it will give you some things to do. So you've already actually watching this video. And once you're done watching the video, I want you to get started by going through and doing these items here. Locate the syllabus and the schedule and read the syllabus and read the schedule. Come to class on the first day prepared to ask me questions that you have about the syllabus and the schedule. Locate the instructor contact information. Um, we've already located the Zoom link and then just go through the more classroom and make sure that you understand how to find things, particularly my resources. Now, if you are in MAT 230, Calculus 2, you have some uh, things that you need to do to prepare for the first class, in addition to just familiarizing yourself with the class. If you are in my 213 or some other class, you don't have anything to do to prepare for the first class. All right, so that's in the getting started message. Below that is the announcements folder. There's nothing in this yet, but I will be moving announcements into this folder so if you want to find an announcement from two or three or four weeks ago, it would be located in the announcement. I will not be deleting announcements, just moving them into this folder. Course resources, this is where a lot of important information is. So you just left click on it. The syllabus and the schedule are located here. You can left click and download the syllabus, download the schedule. The textbook information, left click on that. Textbooks are optional. You do not need to purchase a textbook for any of my classes. Desmos is located here. You'll want to download a link to Desmos someplace where you can get to it conveniently because this is the online graphing calculator that we will be using uh, in this class and on all of your exams. Instructor contact information. Uh, my email address is right here. Handouts for my calculus class are here and some PVCC resources, which uh, you may find helpful. So they're all located down here. All right, that's under the course resources. Make sure that you know how to find things in there. Below that, we have the content. So in this particular class, we have chapter one, two, three, five, six, and seven. And so if you click on one of these, it will have all of the topics each one of the topics. And so if you click on topic number one, section 2.1, areas between curves, it will have the learning objectives for this topic, required reading from the textbook, and most importantly, the materials for success. This is where you will locate my class notes and the solutions to my class notes, my lecture videos, and any other videos that I have created for this class. And then finally, the homework assignment is located here. And so that is how this class is set up. So make sure that you just kind of go through your classroom and click on some of these things and just see what how things are set up. Again, learning objectives, required reading, materials for success, homework. 
All right, I'll be talking a little bit more about homework and, and that sort of thing during the first class. But after reading the syllabus, if you have questions about any of this, please come prepared, as I already said, to the first class prepared to do that. One last thing, if you click over here on the calendar, um, you can see the calendar with all of the assignments and when they are due. Now, some students get into a little bit of trouble because all they ever do is click on the calendar. They come into the class and they just go right straight to the calendar and they never actually go through any of these folders where all of the information and all of the resources are located. If I find that students are not going into these folders and locating the resources and only going through the calendar, I will just make the calendar go away so you'll have no other option but to do it uh, the other way. Also, you want to send me a message through more, you click on the message icon and the gradebook icon is over here on the left as well. Okay, well, that is pretty much it for this video. Again, if you have any questions, come to the first class prepared to ask me questions. Um, I will be spending a little bit of time going over things, but we're going to be jumping right into the new material as quickly as we possibly can. All right, that's it. I look forward to seeing you all in class. Have a great weekend. See you next week.